So guess what? Sometimes what really happens in life is that technology and two events together can really shape your future. So you already know that we're covering and doing special series on the Mobile World Congress, which happened in Barcelona, Spain. But now I'm going to add to all that excitement. Every six months or so, in fact, I think the frequency is only getting added on, not really coming down. We have an event here in India called What Hi-Fi, and we see absolutely the best of the audio world, sometimes even more than just the audio world. So this time on the show, we've got a double, an actual double out here, MWC and What Hi-Fi together. Let's get started. Our journey at the Mobile World Congress continues. We travel to Barcelona to get you all the tech that's hot, wild and wacky. For all the audiophiles, here's a stairway to heaven. We take a look at all the hi-fi audio equipment at the What Hi-Fi show held in Mumbai. And now, of course, let's move on to all the news coming in from the world of gadgets and gizmos. And of course, the big one is the Samsung Galaxy S10, the entire series of three. No, no, not the 5G, of course not. But the first three in that series are already in. With that came the Samsung Buds, a new fitness tracker and a new smartwatch. So Samsung really, really opening up out here in India. Let's take a look at what all they announced and the prices. seems to be on a launching spree and has made headlines this week as well. Say hello to the new stars in Samsung's Galaxy and one star is asking for a premium of well above 1 lakh rupees. The South Korean tech giant has launched its new S10 range of smartphones and there's something for everyone. The Galaxy S10 starts at Rs 66,900, the Galaxy S10 Plus at Rs 73,900 and a more affordable S10e at 55,900 rupees. But Samsung is demanding almost 1 lakh 17,000 rupees for the top variant of the S10 Plus with a whopping 1 TB of storage. DJ Ko, the president of Samsung's mobile communications division, was also present at the launch to mark 10 years of Samsung's successful Galaxy series. The S10 Plus for one comes with a powerful triple rear camera, a 6.4 inch screen, 4100 mAh of battery and a great HDR10 Plus screen for content consumption. All phones in the S10 range boast of Samsung's own Infinity O AMOLED display. The new flagship comes with the first ever in-display ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which claims to be more accurate and secure than some Chinese flagships. The phones also have a new wireless power share capability which transforms the back of the phone into a big Qi charging mat. Apple's AirPods have stiff competition because Samsung has launched its cord free earbuds called the Galaxy Buds which come with a charging case. These are being launched at an introductory offer of around 5,000 rupees. Samsung also offered us a glimpse of its new Galaxy Watch Active which runs on Tizen 4 operating system and will have support for both Android and iOS devices. We'll have to wait for the price for this one. So let's start off with Watt Hi-Fi. This is the most premium audio event. If you really truly love audio, you're an audiophile or just somebody as a hobbyist that just loves music, this is an event if it's happening in your city or not too far away, you should actually try and go for this event. It is incredible. Last time, it was all about headphones. This time, I think the speakers have made a bit of a comeback. I'll tell you some of the things I really enjoyed out there. Devyale, which of course I call Devi Lal and the company doesn't like that at all, nor does Mr. Devi Lal. Whoever that is, there are many. Uh, Devyale came out with a speaker that everyone all over the world has been waiting for. It's called the Reactor. Much smaller, but still with an audio output that is absolutely startling. And then we've got Waterfall Technologies, a company from France that came out with a glass speaker. Take a look. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Yes, I'm at the Watt Hi-Fi show in Mumbai. Now, over the past few years, we have covered it across different cities of the country. This time, it's being held in Mumbai. Now, here we see audio equipment, speakers, ranging from a few lakh rupees to a few crore rupees. So, this is what premium audio is all about. Well, Rajiv, I've got to start the show with Devi Ale, or as you like to call it, Devi Lal. Now, I've got the Phantom Reactor, their next uh, speaker in the Phantom series. Here, you get all the controls on the speaker itself, and you also get an aux port over here. So, let's take a closer look at the Phantom Reactor. Devi Ale's range of luxury speakers has always touched our auditory nerves in the most distinctive manner. Be it the Phantom Gold or the Pizza Box Amplifier. At the What Hi-Fi show, we got a peek of the new Phantom Reactor speaker. There are two variants, the Reactor 600 with 600 watts of music 
and a more premium reactor 900 with of course 900 watts. The compact and sturdy design has a flawless construction and is out only in a shiny white color. There are five touch sensitive controls on the surface for play, volume, setup and Bluetooth. You can also notice a slight change at the back with the ports. There's an Ethernet port, a 3.5mm socket and the mains power and a standby button too. The single piece unit has a 3cm full range aluminium driver. On either side there are covered roofers in a 10cm aluminium dome. Deviale claims a frequency range from 18Hz to 21kHz and needless to say the reactor performs well in every area. But of course, like every Deviale product, this one too is high on the tag. The Reactor 600 is priced at about 1 lakh rupees, while the Reactor 900 is for around 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees. Well, I'm just checking on myself on this speaker because this is entirely made of glass. He has a very uniquely designed speaker by what followed with the Victoria range and the Iguazu range. Now, they use glass and I've been told that it takes about 8 hours to hand make this speaker. So, what's so unique about it and why is glass being used? Let's take a closer look. Flagship tech or a piece of art or maybe a little bit of both. Cascading through the exhibition were the Victoria and the Iguazu speakers by Waterfall Audio. The uniquely designed speakers are handmade in France and use thick safety glass with a metallic coating. The glass is cut and glued together in a way that reflects light well and adds to the elegance of your room and of course it can also act as a looking glass. A speaker enclosure is ideally very rigid and sturdy. A glass enclosure works well and is in fact more inert than a wood structure. This eliminates the vibration from it, thereby ensuring that sound reproduction is not altered. However, damping the energy within the box is a challenge. Waterfall Audio solves this by using an acoustic damping tube at the back of the driver which controls the driver. A pair of Iguazu is priced at under 4 lakhs and the Victoria is for about 5 lakh rupees. Now here I am at the View Technologies booth and guess what Raji? I can see you on a huge, a massive 100-inch television set. Yes, that's the View 100 by View Technologies. And this is a giant-sized uh, smart TV based on Android, of course, and it's got about 16 GB in built storage. You can expand it further, download apps. It's also got a voice-enabled remote with it. So let's take a closer look at all the features of this new television set. Not just audio, there was some visual delight at the show as well. The View 100 could be one hell of a striking centerpiece for your home theatre. With a 100-inch panel and close to 2.5 billion colours, it runs official Android Oreo 8.0 OS and has 16 GB storage and 2.5 GB RAM. The TV set also does away with messy external cables as it has built-in JBL soundbar with Dolby Audio and DTS support to provide 2000 watt audio. The 4K HDR10 TVs fitted with abundant ports at the back including 3 HDMI 2.0 ports and 2 USB 3.0 ports. It is accompanied by a remote with dedicated keys for YouTube and Google Play and voice control capabilities as well. The View 100 TV set is priced at about 20 lakh rupees. Now here I am at the JVC booth where I've been told they have an 8K projector. Now is that an overkill because right now even 4K content is very limited. But anyway, let's take a look at what the projector is all about and some of its features. The DLA NX9 is claimed to be the world's first 8K projector with E-Shift technology. This essentially means that its unique multi-pixel control technology will upscale and convert FHD and 4K images to high-definition 8K images. It has a dynamic contrast ratio of 1 million is to 1 and a wide color gamut and supports high dynamic range. The projector is priced at about 17 lakh rupees. The next level of innovation is multi-room and convenience and obviously smarts. People want smarts in everything. So although audiophiles have sneered at the idea of smart speakers until now, it's good to see that a lot of high-end brands are also incorpor uh, incorporating smartness into their devices, you know, with Alexa or Google Home. Uh, so that's going to be a big category as well, multi-room and custom installation. Everybody wants great sound, but they don't want to necessarily have big black boxes in the middle of their houses. So everything is getting more flush into the wall or into the ceiling. Besides these, there were a range of other gadgets too that grabbed our attention. Clips displayed their range of heritage speakers which is old wine in a new bottle. 
The company has used its classic designs of speakers from over 70 years back and mixed it with modern tech and features. Different speakers are priced starting 5 lakhs a pair to even 15 lakhs for a pair. More from the What Hi-Fi exhibition on our show next week. So interesting again that 8K the word came in at an audio event but do remember the JVC projector is an upscaling 8K projector. It's not raw native 8K. Those are also around and there will be a lot of those. But first let's get the content in. Time now to move to the Mobile World Congress and at Barcelona in Spain. The biggest buzzword besides screen technology was 5G and leading the pack was Qualcomm because they finally got a chipset which they say is completely ready for prime time 5G. This is the 855. Lots of announcements by Qualcomm around 5G. Lots of announcements by other companies around 5G. So this is totally your future. Why don't we take a look at it? Well, I am at the Qualcomm booth and Qualcomm is really giving life to 5G. We all know that they launched the Snapdragon 855 chipset, the first chipset in the world for mobile phones to bring 5G to mobile phones. Of course, it comes with LTE as well. I'm holding one of their chipsets right here. This is the X55 5G modem. So there's a lot that Qualcomm is doing with 5G. While India may think of 5G as a distant dream, Qualcomm might be bringing it to reality a lot sooner. MWC had no dearth of 5G-ready mobile phones, for instance, the Samsung S10 Plus 5G, the LG V50 ThinQ and another one by Oppo. The one thing that united all the phones was the embedded Qualcomm 855 chipset in them. This is the first 5G chipset for phones and comes with 4G LTE connection with low latency. There were several demos to showcase the AI engine capabilities of the chipset. For instance, denoising a picture. This demo showed how images can be tuned further and sharpened and the bokeh effect can be adjusted even in the front camera. Images with text allow users to read it with clarity. And this chipset is behind it all. Qualcomm also launched the world's first 5G modem, the Snapdragon X55. This means that it can support speeds of up to 5 Gbps and allows for high data speeds to function even in low network areas which also helps improve battery life. The small cell platform forms an important component in LTE and 5G network planning. It is a cost-effective way to provide indoor and outdoor capacity and coverage even in crowded places like concerts and packed public spaces and more. And then there were the connected cars that zoomed in. A mock-up autonomous car displayed high-speed AI detection and even prediction of pedestrian behavior. The Snapdragon 8155 Gen 3 chip embedded in the car also fulfills all infotainment needs. Additionally, the Wi-Fi 6 chip will help in high-speed video streaming, in-car internet access and hands-free calling. Almost all big brands, take from Samsung, Xiaomi, right, Nubia, Zeti, LG, all announced the Snapdragon-based 5G phones. Uh, as a market, India market, you will see, if this is our or assumption that you will see quite a few of these brands not wanting to let the Indian consumer be left out. So brace yourself for some blazing high speeds, fast downloads with the next era of 5G connectivity with Qualcomm. Let's take a quick break right now on the show when we come back, lots more. Now, of course, every single time you go to an event like the MWC or the CES or even IFA, there's a lot of great technology, that jaw-dropper, blow-your-socks-off kind. But there's another kind which I enjoy the most. And that's wild and wacky, crazy tech. Tech that either is so, so, so completely gimmicky or so futuristic that you truly want it. So we'll start off with something interesting where I think Sanjana, is leaning, looks like a bar, I mean, you know, Sanjana between dancing and bars and everything else. I think is having a great time out there. Now, I wonder what she's doing, though, and what's she looking for? 
Huh, it's time for me to get a little breather, so let me just ask for a drink. Hey Rachel, can you pass me a drink please? Well, nothing is ordinary at Mobile World Congress. Robots are taking over Mobile World Congress and the world probably. Thank you, Rachel. But this is not the only cool thing at Mobile World Congress. Take a look at all the fun and quirky stuff we found right here. Whenever a big mobile show takes place over a city, in this case Barcelona, our endeavour is to be on the lookout for some mind-blowing and out-of-the-box tech and some quirky gadgets too. So here's what we found. This is Oral-B's latest toothbrush which uses machine learning to help you clean those molars better. Aptly named the Genius X, this smart toothbrush uses built-in sensors to understand how people brush. You will have to use your phone's camera alongside so that the phone can monitor the brush's movement, so your phone needs to be within Bluetooth distance. Dunk your phone in water for more than 20 hours and it still works. That's the promise of Dunkable, a new protective coating showcased by P2I, a company which works with manufacturers to make devices liquid resistant. And at MWC 2019, P2I put on display this useful invention. The company claims that this coating protects your phone from extreme conditions and devices will continue to work even when immersed to at least 2 meters for 30 minutes. We can't wait to get this coating for our delicate darlings, our smartphones of course. And that's not all, we also spotted a phone with a whopping 18,000 mAh battery on it. The Energizer Power Max P18K Pop measured around 80 mm of thickness, that is just plain immense. The company Avenue Telecom, which licenses the Energizer brand, claims that this phone can last a week's worth of use or two full days of continuous video playback. There's a 6.2-inch LCD display, a pop-up module with two selfie cameras, 6GB RAM and Android 9 out of the box. This is not a thinking hat or a sorting hat, it's a flexible display hat and that's really the theme at Mobile World Congress this year. We're not done with flexible displays just yet. Just take a look at what I have in my hands. Well, this is Royal FlexPi. It was apparently the first foldable smartphone in the world. It folds and becomes a phone. It can fold back and become a tab. And it's the only one that they are giving a hands-on with right here at the Mobile World Congress. But not just this, Royal was actually the first in this whole rat race of flexible displays to come out with a phone even before the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Well, what does that say about the company? Let's take a detailed look at this foldable phone by Royal FlexPi. The future seems to be foldable and flexible. Let's be frank, if flexible phones like the Samsung Galaxy Fold and the Huawei Mate X hadn't become a reality, we would have found the Royal FlexPi phone truly quirky. You get a 7.8-inch diagonal flex display developed by Royal that folds in the middle into two smaller 4-inch smartphone screens. And we applaud this company for making this gadget available to buy already. Royal didn't stop just there. The company also showcased its flexible display technology through smart speakers. The flexible display seems to wrap around the device and it has an AMOLED screen giving a 300 degree viewing angle. The speakers run on Android operating system and can also double up as a bedside lamp. And this may not be quirky but it is innovative and mind bending at best. The Microsoft HoloLens 2. This mixed reality headset made its debut at MWC and can now recognize the user through the Windows Hello Iris recognition system. It includes a Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 chipset and claims to double the field of view while maintaining 47 pixels per degree of sight. While this may not be a consumer product, but Microsoft feels that this device can transform the gaming landscape. We'll have to wait for that day to come. So I have to say the most favorite part of that was Royal and all the stuff with the hats. So think about it, I've been saying this for such a long time now. Once you can flex the screen, once you can curve it, once you can bend it, once you can fold it, the absolute world is your oyster in terms of design, in terms of utility, in terms of where you can put screens. That time that a static rigid screen completely and absolutely stopped us from doing anything is over and this was a great showcase of course some of them were absolutely crazy like 
I mean, a, a, a table lamp, although I love the hat, I mean, that I thought was, would make, when it does come in and they release it as a product, I'll be first to buy it. Lots of stuff coming up next week also on the show, including what I believe is one of the most interesting, incredible, and literally mind-bending products to ever come out from an Indian company. I'm leaving it at that point. Just watch the show next week. I promise you'll be dazzled.